After her parents were imprisoned, Savannah Chrisley's life was far from luxurious, rather, it was far from it. At least in her opinion. On Wednesday, the veteran of reality TV made an appearance with a brand new Unlocked podcast episode. She attacked the widely held belief among detractors and haters that she is comfortably living off the money her parents stole in it. Naturally, Julie and Todd Chrisley, her parents, are serving a brief sentence in federal prison following their convictions for tax evasion and bank fraud. However, from what Savannah has to say, they weren't the only ones who suffered greatly when the federal authorities intervened. The Chrisley daughter described her financial predicament amid the $17.8 million in restitution payments her parents were forced to pay as part of their sentence back in June 2022 during the podcast, in which the Sassy by Savannah Mogul hosted a few pals. She began by criticizing the most frequent criticism she still receives from those who say negative things about her, but she's not rich, she says. Not at all, Savannah recounted how she struggled, threw it all and said, of course, the kids, she refers to her niece Chloe, 11, and her brother Grayson, 17. When the Chrissy Knows Best stars were sentenced to prison, both were in the care of Todd and Julie. Savannah quickly took custody of both of them so she could act as their guardian. So, indeed, at that moment, she was really faced with a lot on her plate. In addition, her parents' dishonor stemming from their arrests and their program Chrisley Knows Best Dead in the Sea, Savannah had to scrabble to survive. She made a big effort to develop her sassy brand, but it took time. She also started a real estate job, but at first, that work required a lot of time and paid very little. She observed. Thus, she kept having difficulties. She described on the podcast how she had to drastically reduce the number of groceries she was purchasing. She also needed to get better at saying, no, to the kids' requests for activities or purchases. There was also more than that. The feds battled valiantly to keep all of the 3% realtor commission Savannah was due to receive from the sale of her parents' Georgia property when it came time for her to sell it. Fortunately, she said, her attorney was able to work out a settlement that let her retain 1.5% of the commission for her family. But fuck. 